Welcome to a new Nefertiti tutorial. Today we will look at a design guide for on-farm demonstrations. We will take you through six steps for making your next on-farm demonstration even more successful. My name is Anke Bermann from Fievel Switzerland and I have Lise Breuner from Ilvo with me. Lise is one of the authors of the on-farm demonstration guide. Hi Lise, why did you write this guide? So we wrote this guide because we are convinced actually that on-farm demonstrations are an excellent way to share experience in a farmer to farmer setting. And while organizing farm demo events is a, is a daily business for many advisors and demonstration farmers, we also believe there is still room for improvement in the way this is being organized. So the design guide was intended to provide like a step-by-step -step overview of all crucial elements to consider both during the planning, but also during the delivery and afterwards evaluation and follow-up of, of the event. As such, the guide can be helpful for more experienced organizers who might want to check and reflect on their way of working, but of course also for people who are new at this. Thanks for the background information, Lise. So let's start with the first step. For any demo event, it is important that you explicitly state clear objectives and key messages in advance. Why is this so important, Lise? A clear objective is important for two main reasons, I would say. Uh, first of all, having a clear objective will support you in delivering a clear message to the right target audience. And uh, secondly, in the case you have several people helping with the organization, a clear objective will also help to get everyone on board and have them working in the same direction. The next question is, what do you want to demonstrate? Demo topics can be very diverse. For example, the demonstration of a product, a machine, a process, management or marketing practices. A thorough discussion is necessary to identify the most relevant and inspiring aspects of the topic. Once you have clarity on the why, the what and the for whom, you can move to the next step. Select your host farm according to your demo goals. Jendrik Holthusen from Grünland Zentrum Germany. What does this mean for you? When you're looking for the right host farmers for your demonstration, you can look for innovators. That are the crazy guys. They are really in innovative. They have new ideas, new solutions, etc. When you want to spread an innovation, you're looking for early adopters. They are the people to organize a really good uh, demonstration. So, host farmers should be credible and innovative and a demo farm should ensure access by having good location and facilities. This step includes recommendations regarding the organization team, the program, the timing, facilities and equipment, budget and registration. A demo event you usually organize in a team. For successful collaboration between diverse partners, a common agreement upon the objectives and the content in the organizing team is key. In the guide, you recommend a balanced program. What exactly do you mean by a balanced program, Lise? A balanced program is basically a program that caters to everyone's needs. So at a given demonstration event, you will have a diverse audience, with some people being more appreciative of presentations, while others learn more from hands-on experience or from engaging in discussion with the presenter or other participants. So I would say make sure you have enough variety in your activities to keep things interesting for everyone there. Once you have developed a balanced program with your team, you can move to the next step. Step four is about promoting your event. Invitations can be spread by using flyers, letters, emails, but also via newspaper articles, websites, social media, or even promotions on radio or television. On the Farm Demo Training Kit, you can find tips and templates to create your own promotion materials. Learning and facilitation methods are crucial for successful demos. Use a variety of learning methods. That means, Go for a combination of posters, presentations, experiments, discussions, workshops, and so on. Lise, when you and your colleagues analyzed the FATD demo events, you made an interesting observation. In practice, we also found that 
presentations are often still predominant. And especially when talking to some organizers, it also became clear that they tend to favor activities which fit their own learning style. So simply because they experience those activities as being the most effective for learning. But again, that may not be the case for everyone. So try to keep this in mind. Another recommendation in the guide is make use of the experience of the host farmer and the experience of the participants. How to do that? Let's listen to some tips from Tom O'Dwyer from Chakask. The ability to facilitate a discussion. There is a very different approach required if you want to engage the audience versus if you just want to communicate the message. So if you just want to tell them what's happening on the farm or tell them how the technology works, you stand with your, with your back to a display board and you tell them. But if you want to facilitate discussion and increase engagement, you, you have to invite it. And you have to think about ways that will encourage the audience to ask questions. And I think it's more than simply saying, has anybody got questions? You, you, you have to think out the approach to uh, foster that engagement. I think the key thing is to identify open questions which invite answers other than yes or no. And that then challenges the farmers to come up with a more descriptive answer. And from that then you can get more discussion. A successful demo event relies on the interaction of all participants. But how to get that interaction, especially in larger groups? Let's listen to Richard Lloyd from Innovation for Agriculture in the UK. Now in small groups, uh, that can be helped by an initial introductory session at the beginning of the event, which breaks the ice and gets everyone more comfortable with each other. But if we're in a larger group, then that can be a lot more challenging. There are techniques you can use. You can split the group into smaller groups, or you can maybe even split the, the group on the basis of common interests and so, and so people can identify readily other people who have the same ideas and thoughts and challenges uh, and therefore can interact together. I think we all agree. To engage the audience, good facilitation is key. Lise, where can advisors and farmers get good information on facilitation? A personal favorite of mine is the Enablers of Change website, uh, which comes from New Zealand and it has a really excellent newsletter which keeps you up to date. The link to Lee's favorite website you can also find in the description below. Now your demo event is over. You and your team and the participants might be tired. That's why the last step, evaluation and follow-up, is often neglected. However, evaluating your event really helps to improve your future events. On the Farm Demo Toolkit, you can find many tools and checklists to help evaluating your demo event. So, that was our short overview of the six steps you have to go through when setting up a demo event. For more details, please check out the Farm Demo Training Kit. The link is also below. If you have more tips and tricks or questions, please write them in the comments. We wish you a lot of success with your next demo event.